Greetings YouTube, very recently Activision Blizzard placed a 12 month ban on the Grandmaster's Hearthstone player known as Blitzchung. Blitzchung is from Hong Kong and during a live streamed post match interview put on a gas mask and shouted Liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our age in Mandarin. The live feed was cut immediately afterwards and Blizzard slapped Blitzchung with the 12 month ban removed him from the Grandmaster's list that made him eligible for the tournament in the first place and withdrew his prize money. Blizzard also said that they'll stop working with the two presenters who were on the stream. Now since then, Blizzard has reversed its decision, returning the $10,000 worth of prize money and lowering the ban from 12 months to 6 months. The two presenters have similarly been, similarly been downgraded to six month bans apiece. Blizzard have defended all this, naturally enough, by bullshitting, because how else are they going to do it? Their initial statement read, While we stand by one's right to express individual thoughts and opinions, players and other participants that elect to participate in our esports competitions must abide by the official competition rules. Which kind of sounds contradictory to me. You're allowed to express your individual thoughts and opinions just so long as you don't express your individual thoughts and opinions because the rules say you're not allowed. Anyway, now they've reversed their decision. They're now saying, in hindsight, our process wasn't adequate and we reacted too quickly. You fucking think? They're now arguing a technicality, basically, saying Blitzchung didn't break the rules during the match, only afterwards in the post-match conference. And honestly, reducing the ban to six months feels more like a slap on the wrist, like a token gesture, just to show to everybody, say you were in charge and you will be punished. But if the Grandmasters World Championship is held every year, won't the ban expire before next year's event? Uh, I don't actually know how this championship and the Grandmasters list works. It might not work like that, I don't know, it just sounds a bit weird. Many other Hearthstone players were quick to complain that Blizzard caved into China. I don't know if any conversations were had with China over this, but the live feed was cut remarkably quick. So presumably that means something was perhaps agreed in advance? To show solidarity, some players actually attempted to delete their Activision Blizzard accounts and uh, some of them got an error message instead. Some people were suggesting it could have been deliberate. The company said that it was a technical problem. Honestly, I can believe technical problem. I mean, imagine a system not being used very often suddenly gets drowned in delete requests. I can totally see it crashing. It's like a denial of service attack against a website. The sheer suddenness of the load knocks the whole system offline. Considerably more sinister, however, were reports of players being able to cancel their accounts, but were being asked to upload government-issued IDs first. Yeah, because that sounds like a perfectly sensible and safe thing to do when China's involved. Hand over your personal details over to the authoritarian regime. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to you. As a reaction to that, people have been contacting their banks, some of them anyway, and blocking the payments directly, which frankly sounds the, co the wiser course of action to me. The hashtag boycott blizzard, or blizzard boycott rather, was trending on Twitter. A group of workers at Blizzard's Los Angeles office staged a walkout in protest. And as if that wasn't good enough, and yes I say good, US politicians have taken notice. It's never good when the politicians take notice of you. Marco Rubio tweeted, Recognise what's happening here. People who don't live in China must either self-censor or face dismissal and suspensions. Now, my channel is not a political one, but I do keep up with politics. And that's the general direction everyone's decided we're heading in with this discussion, so what the hell? China's been expanding its influence significantly over recent years and obviously the US has taken drastic steps, probably futilely, to attempt to curb it with the ongoing trade war. 
We've had HK Map Live that was uh, being used by Hong Kong protesters to mark the positions of police, tear gas, relief supplies, allowing bystanders to sidestep all the trouble. Before Apple pulled the app from its store, saying it was facilitating violence. The NBA groveled through a tweet from one of the team executives supporting the protest. Google have removed a game called Revolution of Our Times from its app store, where you play as a Hong Kong protester. They deemed it to be a violation of its policy on sensitive events. Sony, of course, have been censoring more and more content on the PS4 as well. That's something I've mentioned before. Not everyone was towing the China line, though. Epic, the maker of Fortnite, made a statement that for me, sums up my feelings on the matter as well. Epic supports everyone's right to speak freely. China players of Fortnite are free to criticise the US or criticise Epic just as equally as all the others. Oh, and uh, South Park apparently had its own typically irreverent take on the whole China affair, causing Chinese censors to delete almost every clip, episode and discussion of the show from Chinese streaming services. Fuck me, they take themselves way too seriously. Also, China broadcasts South Park? Or at least they did until recently? I, I don't know why, but that just struck me as very weird. With regard to the situation in Hong Kong specifically, the local administration, in my opinion, massively fucked up when they didn't react to the protests around the two to three week mark. Once a major protest goes past that point, it starts drawing in smaller alternate protest movements. And once that happens, you're screwed. Totally. You can't appease everybody anymore because there's too many demands being made over too broad a range of topics. It's impossible. For a country that is the very origin of the art of war, the definitive work on strategy. You think China wouldn't make such a simple blunder as to forget what the ch what the terrain in Hong Kong was like. China is big on shutting down everyone with a with a single bad word to say about them and it's getting worse as their influence grows. But on the flip side, they're also attracting more attention to their censorship as well, which is drawing more and more criticism from like the tech world and world leaders. China's behavior overall, though, reminds me strongly of the AAA video game industry. Complete lack of oversight, restraint, common decency. It allows them to do pretty much whatever the fuck they like. And as much as I detest the shithead in the White House, Perhaps it's no bad thing China's getting a kick in right now. I'm sorry to say I'm not in the least bit surprised by any of this though. China is a major emerging market for, well, everything actually it seems these days. And uh, Chinese company Tencent owns 5% of Activision Blizzard. Do the math, as many players did. I don't expect Blizzard will come to lasting harm over any of this though. As I said with my Borderlands 3 review, that game deserves praise, but Gearbox, who made the game, deserves to be punished for its shy ethics. Again, I feel the need to remind everyone that Blizzard have denied China had any direct input into this crapshoot. But even if they didn't, Blizzard was holding them in the very front of their mindset when they punished Blitzchung in the first instance. China's influence on this may not be direct, but it's undeniable. This entire sequence of events played out over the course of a week and it shows how impulsive Blizzard was and how scared shitless it was of China. Now the Western player base has revolted and declared thus far and no further. Now, Seth MacFarlane once said one of my favourite quotes that Family Guy is an equal opportunities offender. It's hard for me to envision a fairer point of view than that.